Hey guys, welcome to the Lunch Time Review. Today I'm going to try this Grando's Roman style handcrafted street pizza. It's made in Italy. This one is the four cheese version. It is 6.7 ounces or 190 grams. There's one pizza in the box and it's kind of, it does look like that by the way. Um, this is frozen. We bought this at Meyer. It was $2.99, which isn't too awfully bad, I don't think. Uh, 430 calories per pizza. And there's your other info for you, hopefully. It's focused. I can't tell if it's focused or not. It's all blurry to me. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 430, and there's the other information for you. So the directions, the preferred method is probably, yeah, the preferred method is the oven, the microwave and the oven direction. So you thaw it in the microwave and then you bake it. The second method is the just in the oven. And of course, the least preferred method is the method we're going to do. We're going to do the microwave because we don't do ovens on this channel. We only do microwaves. But we're going to remove, it says the super soft crust, so that's fine. So we're going to remove the film and we're going to heat in the microwave for two minutes to two and a half, two point five, two and a half minutes. Um, that's the least preferred method. I will probably go ahead and do two and a half minutes because I found that my oven's pretty nice, but um, the um, my microwave is pretty nice, but the um, pizzas and stuff like that tend to take a little longer. So I'm going to get this in the microwave. I'll take the plastic off, put it on a paper plate, get it in the microwave, and I will be back in just a second. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. I haven't done anything with it. Um, yeah, it's, it, it is what it is. It's not, it's soft. Um, has that texture like cornmeal on the outside. There's the, what the inside kind of looks like. So you can see it better on this one. Probably not. The cheese kind of, it's just a, like a little boat of bread with cheese in the middle. So I'm going to let this cool off for a minute and I'll be back. It does have that cornmeal um, on the outside of it. I gave it just a, I cut it up into smaller pieces where I can just pick them up and eat them. Um, but I didn't let it sit for too long. So here we go. From the microwave, the crust is very, very chewy. Um, it's soft, but it's chewy, almost, um, I was gonna say almost pretzel-like, but even a pretzel is not quite this chewy. It's very, uh, very, very dense and chewy. The edges also get very um, dense and, and tough. The uh, yeah, I don't I don't know that I would eat this in the microwave. I can say that the flavors, the flavors really good. I like the sauce, I like the cheese, I like the the crust. I like the the crust is really really good. Um, it's got a good flavor to it. So the flavor wise, it's okay. This is one of those products that I would think. Um, they'd probably not even put microwave oven directions on it. They should put the microwave oven directions, you know, like microwave and then you the oven or just the oven directions and not have a fully microwave direction because it really gets tough and chewy. I mean, it's edible. You could definitely eat it and, and enjoy it, but it is going to be kind of tough. Um, I don't even think, I did mine for two and a half minutes. I don't even think leaving it in for a last time, like two minutes. Um, it, first of all, it wouldn't have been good and hot. And I don't think it would have made much of a difference on the chewiness of the outside of the crust because I think that's just how the crust is. That being said, I do really like it. And if I put it in the oven, like I said, this channel, we don't do ovens because generally you don't have ovens at work. But um, if I were to do this at home in an oven or a toaster oven, it doesn't give toaster oven directions, but I would think you could put this in a toaster oven. But if you did it in some kind of oven, it would be a lot better because it would, wouldn't be so dense and chewy. It would be more crisp and um, soft crust, so I would like it a lot better. That being said, I'm still going to give it a 4 out of 5 because I really do like the flavor. I do think it's a good quality pizza. Um, I would eat these regularly. I would just put them in the oven instead of uh, in the microwave. So, yeah, definitely worth trying out if you see these in your area. Like I said, we got them at Meyer. I've never seen them at like Walmart or Kroger or anywhere, but you may have them in different stores around your area. So if you see them, I think you're safe to try them if you like a, a bready or um, not quite really spicy sauce on the pizza. It's kind of more of a sweeter sauce, although it's not super sweet either. It's kind of in the middle, uh, but it's really good cheese content too. So anyway, I think it's good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.